plague. Ugh. I'm currently dying from the plague. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but my entire family is sick and we're all just like dying and waiting for the Grim Reaper to come steal our souls from us. So I've really done nothing but read for the past like six days. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a Friday Reads video. Originally, I like had the books that I said I wanted to finish in 2016. I did that video and I was like, I'm going to finish these books. But I'm looking at the remaining pile and I'm just like, I don't want to read any of those. I've gotten through four of them and another one that I got for Christmas. But I just, I don't feel like any of the ones left. So I decided that I was just going to pull from my shelf for the last two books that I'm going to read for 2016. Well, I did get a lot of reading done this month, which you will see in my wrap-up. I have a total of two books that I'm hoping to finish by the end of the year, which probably won't happen because it's December 30th, which is also my mom's birthday. So hi, mom, happy birthday. Leave that in the comments telling her happy birthday and make her smile because she's my little lemon drop and I love her so very much. Without further ado, here are the two books that I hope to read for this weekend. Do I still do my intro? Even though, like, it... Sure. Let us get started! Honestly, these are probably not gonna happen because, like, it's New Year's weekend, so, like, I'm gonna be doing stuff, I'm assuming. So, like, I'm probably not gonna read, but currently dying of the plague. I might as well have some high hopes for the end of this year, so we're gonna go with it, we're gonna make it happen, and maybe read one more book this month? Probably not, though, but I chose shortish books, so we'll see how it goes. First book is Impulse by Ellen Hopkins. Obviously, Ellen Hopkins is gonna make my list because, like... Ellen Hopkins is my day, and... Her books go by really fast. This one follows three teenagers who are all in a psychiatric hospital after trying to commit suicide, and that's all I really know about it. It's told in verse like all her other books, and I am very excited to read it. Because Ellen Hopkins, me, I say more. The next book has been on my shelf for so many years now, and I recently saw a lot of people talking about it and saying how amazing it is. So I figured, you know, your girl needs to read it eventually, so why not now? And it is Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas. The book follows a girl named Anna and her best friend, and they go on vacation together in Aruba, and then her friend ends up being murdered, and everybody is pointing their fingers at Anne. And that's all I really know. Apparently it's really good. But she's in jail in a country that is not her own, so obviously she's probably real scared. But everybody thinks that she's dangerous, so I want to know if she actually is dangerous and if she killed her best friend, because... Murdering best friends is not good, but I feel like I would enjoy this book because thriller. Can you tell that my brain is not actually working very well right now because plague? How many times can Jay say plague in one video? Many. Until the Grim Reaper comes and takes her soul. How many times can Jay say Grim Reaper in a video? Many. Those are my weekend reading plans. Probably not gonna happen because, I mean, like, tonight's my mom's birthday and I'm also gonna go watch the fight with Dan. It's Ronda Rousey's fighting because, you know, it's the biggest fight of the whole season because Ronda Rousey's coming back. And then the 31st is New Year's. And then, like, New Year's is New Year's. So reading will probably not commence. But, you know, we had a plan set out. So at least we tried. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye. You see, I can't even get up there because, like, my throat hurts. So I'm sorry. Maybe you'll see me in the new year. Maybe I'll be dead from the plague. We'll see. Bye.